Jeez, Nicholas, back in the house, back in the house. Yes, another full install for you to look at. Thank you very much. Yes. Today we have Netrunner 12.12. .12. I was going to put the video out the weekend, but I've done weekend stuff with the kids and the wife and stuff, so you had to wait till today, which is Tuesday. Or Tuesday. Thomas Dog. I don't know. Anyway, Netrunner is based on Ubuntu, of course. This is 12.12 .12 version. Comes with KDE 4.9.3, is it? Let's have a look. <clears throat> we'll open my computer up. It's a full install on the old banger machine, by the way. So I don't expect everything to work super, super quick. This I said before, this is going to be some of the last times I'm going to be using this machine, because I'm going to get rid of it. So here we are. A bit of drinkage while well, you can have a quick look at the screen. Mmm. Over here we have the kernel region, which is Linux 3.5.0.23 John Ike. It's me. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. This is the Netrunner 12.12. KD 4.9.4. Okay. I'm using a gig of RAM in here, Woo, so it's using it nearly all up as it's the single core CPU with the hyper threading, as you well know. One problem is I couldn't get the NVIDIA drivers to work, not even the 173s or the 93s. Mmm, bit of a bummer that was, it just come back with, oh no, we have broke your system, thank you very much, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so that was that anyway. I'm also dual boot booting this with Ubuntu 13.04. Which is, to be really honest, is a bit pants. But I'll come to that tomorrow, I think, when I've got back from the hopper call. Anyway, let's have a quick look at our Netrunner. Now, on the whole, for a KDE stuff, I'm quite impressed. It, it's getting better and better and better, although I can't see much difference between the old version of KDE and this version, okay? Which ain't that old, really. Let's open up a menu for you. As you can see, I'm using the sound recorder here, because I also can't get the sound to go with my desktop for some reason. And I'm not going to spend another day just sorting it out, really, because it should work out of the box, as most of them all do. So, and the games. <clears throat> Let's throw it. Hold on a second. Mm. We had the arcade. <clears throat> There's arcade games, some board games here, some card games, logic games, as you would in KDE. And the graphics, we have Gimpage, Winview for image views, Itscape, Camoso, Critter for digital painting, which is a very, very good application. I really like it. K Snapshot does what it says on the tin, and Scanlight for your scanning. Okay. And new internet, we get conversation. Files 11, Firefox, set of course, what the old fuck is you? Should be at version 18 by now. Contact for your personal information manager. Skypage as standard, as well as Chunderbird and some other stuff there too. Under multimedia, as you can see, I've had to record sound recorder so you can hear me at the same time. One very nice thing was Tomahawk, and that's the first time I've really looked at it properly. And it doesn't seem to be a bad player at all. Really. No, it doesn't. No. Looks very, very nice. Looks like some of the stuff I really like. Nicey, nicey. I've no chance to use it yet. I'm going to keep uh, Netrunner on this machine for another week and just have another play. So if it goes up the wall, you know what I mean? I'll tell you all about it. But if not, don't worry about it, okay? We'll close it down from down there. Yeah? Right, what else we got in this menu for you to see? Under Office, we have the full LibreOffice suite and Caligra Flow for their flow charts and diagram editing. Okay, fair enough. More than merry, as they say. It's not a small CD or DVD, by the way. It's a you know, biggy, biggy one. <laughs> Wine is here too. Sneaky kid's got a bad cough. Oh, poor boy. Right, you've got some web apps here as well, which, as you know, Ubuntu actually integrates them into the desktop with their lenses. So this is another way to do it for KD. I like it. Yeah, get them to work out of the tin, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But under utilities, get K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K Blue Devil K. Under system. System information, I've already shown you that. Additional drivers, doesn't work for me. Dolphin, KD Partition Manager, which is nice. K Info Center for your information. Some OK stuff that does KKKK and a K wallet. The USB Image Writer for writing images to USB, super duper. You get the Muon <laughs> Software Center and the Package Manager and the Update Manager. It does it all what it says on the tin here. You get Neo Buckamuck, Muckamuck, Buckamuck, Buckamuck, Buckamuck. Snapchick System Monitor and your core. Okay. Under settings, usual stuff, add network drive, emerald themes, add as many themes as you like, and extra stuff there. And also, Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box is here as standard, which is why it's probably a large download. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's the basic setting. They have it really, it's really, really nice. I like the picture they've added. It looks and feels as it should be. You get the usual KD widget stuff up here and down there as well. Yeah, no big deal, is it? That that's what it says on the team, mega match and ding. Right, runner's ID. Let's go through a couple of these, just in case you don't know anything about it, okay? When it decides it wants to open up, okay? Should we try it again? Yeah, we'll try it again. Let's see if it works this time. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Here we go. Oh, so Firefox wants to die, okay? So we'll close that one instead. Okay. We'll try that again, shall we? Let's open up runners again and see if it will open up for us. 
or is Firefox not working for us today? As you can see, I'm doing it live. Ooh, it's decided to work this time. Right, runner's ID, as you will see, it's free cloud storage. A bit like the Ubuntu One service, it might even be the same, but I doubt it because they've got their own stuff. They offer you a five gigabytes of free space as well before you even start, which is a very good thing as well. So not only have you got all your stuff on your computer, you can upload all your stuff just in case you lose it, okay? Okay, that's nice. You can also here add web accounts. <clears throat> so you can have all your accounts and get everything all sorted to gain your K wallet before you start. So your Google account, your Facebook, your own cloud, and your runner's ID can all go in the same stuff. And so your computer knows where everything is. Lovely of the jubbly. Also, add network drive, and we'll see, look at the welcome introduction. Okay, we'll just wait for that to open for us. Oh, more drinkage. I've got a sore throat myself, actually. If it will bother opening. Yes, it will. Yeah, bearing in mind it's an old machine, but I just wanted to give you a full install video, really. I don't mind them in virtual box, but sometimes the screen resolution just go, you yeah. Press her up, if you know what I mean. Yeah. When this one's this size. To open. Right, here we are. This is one we're using. Netrunner Dryland, 3rd edition, 12.12. .12. Tells you all about it here. I shouldn't have to tell you too much, really. You can come and read it yourself. Yes, you can. Nice. Of course, being KDE, you get the usual KDE stuff down the bottom here. Yes, all works out of 10. You get your setting stuff there, your home folder. Everything is here for you to use. Now, I'm not a KDE fan, but if I was going to use KDE, I wouldn't mind this one if I didn't want to be bothered to configure my own KDE desktop. It runs really nice, smooth, even on old machines like this one. So imagine you've got a quad core, it's going to fly along, isn't it? Fly, fly, fly away home. On the downside, be drivers. Oh, I wish I'd sort my drivers out, but I haven't got really time to muck about with that, so I'll just keep the Nouveau drivers for now. Yes. And obviously, I'll sort out the sound problem as well. Obviously, Pulse is working, so I won't be able to talk to you now. But it's just not working with my desktop. But then again, if I was doing a full install on a quad core machine, I wouldn't be using this. I'd be using double FM pack, wouldn't I? Yes, indeedy. Anyway, I like it. It's super duper. Nice. 89% sneaky Linux out. Actually, by the way, 